say my soul find rest one more time prophesy say my soul find rest this is how champions live they are they are shockingly peaceful because many times when there is noise in your life the voice of god is not there there can be an earthquake and he's not in it there can be all kinds of winds and when all that nonsense is gone then here he comes the still the small voice are we together do you know that every time we are troubled we should change the power of God from coming to our lives it is only when you are at rest even doctors will tell you when they want to carry out surgical operations on patients and they find out that their BP is vacillating they will have to say look find a way of stabilizing these people emotionally is that true they gather their family members to crack jokes they find something that makes them happy welcome to Chat Now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. This is the most important purpose of God in your life as far as earth is concerned. As far as earth is concerned. The third point I give you is that only God can give you true peace and fulfillment. Please write it down. The third reason why you need God in your life is that only your connection with God guarantees peace and fulfillment. Everybody please say peace and fulfillment. Most people, please look up. You see, respectfully speaking, most of us here, are, there are very few people here who are already established from all of the indications of establishment. And so most of us are on a journey or beginning the journey to establishment and so on and so forth. So you may not value things like peace and fulfillment because you are still trying to make ends meet. There is a level when you get to, you will find out that nothing in life sustains the ability to give you peace. The highest index for measuring wealth is peace. Write it now in advance and thank me decades to come. The highest index for measuring wealth, for measuring um, relevance is peace. The highest measure of wealth and freedom. That's what I wrote here. The highest measure of wealth and freedom is peace. Three scriptures quickly. Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Chapter 5. Therefore, being justified by faith. Koinonia, read on with me. We have peace with hold on don't rush peace with God is different from the peace of God peace with God means I have made my way right with God peace with God it's not the same as the peace of God that you have made peace with God that means when I look at God I stand with joy knowing that there is no barrier that interrupts fellowship peace with God peace with God it says we are justified by faith and now we have peace with God most people do not have peace with God we may have money we may have titles and these things are not wrong we may have all of the things that people chase after but when you lack peace with God, there is a serious problem. Because at the end of your life, what will give you fulfillment is knowing that my ways are right with God. Look how the generals that transited in recent times transited. Reinhard Bonke, 
knowing that his time was almost there it was with joy and gladness he came to nigeria preached his, he knew it was his last message he said it he had raised daniel colender he had put everything in place and he said earth i see you when we join the cloud of witnesses to come and pick the rest he waved earth by peace with god these men knew where they were going. they were not hoping no billy graham one of the few people who finished his assignment and remain and were just watching earth you will know a man has finished his assignment set up the billy graham institute and when it was time with honor and with joy he waved his hand same thing tell us there are people who wake up and say where am i they say you are not on earth again it's over it's over what happened the last thing i know is that i left one city i was hurrying up to go it's over period where is my pa it doesn't exist here where is my certificate it doesn't exist here. peace with god john 14 27 peace i live with you listen 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 jesus is speaking here peace i live with you among the many things he listen there are two things the bible tells us we should expect one peace to the holy ghost peace i live with you you need it so much forget joy it will come but peace i live with you my peace i give unto you not as the world gives he says give i unto you let not your hearts be troubled neither let it be afraid that means these two things will remain in your destiny until the peace of god comes to drive them out trouble fear will remain in your heart until the peace of god comes to build a garrison the peace of god A state of restfulness look at me the peace of God is not based on results the peace of God is a supernatural impartation of that dimension you can be in the midst of fire yet you are like the steel waters if you are waiting for everything to be in place for you to have peace that's how the world gives but there is the peace of God that in spite of every storm in your life and your family, it is true that you've not paid your rent. It is true that things are, you know, haywire, your academics, your life is true. You've not had a child yet and people see you and you are completely restful. Because there are few things that are worth dying for. There's a peace that i have in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and these peaks in my heart only comes alive every time i hear comes it comes alive There are some of you who are doctors here look at me young people now are depressed over nothing is because they have not had this message you see people wrinkled you guess and say you are 40 say no i just clocked 28 what has added your age like that the trouble that continues to disturb people i need to make it i am not teaching you to be irresponsible but hear me you will die for nothing and the world will bury you and keep moving you need to learn to come to a point where you say hey shut the door at every trouble and everything and find rest he leads me beside the steel life has a noisy way of depressing you left right till now you've not gotten a job till now you've not married the child has not come this has not happened today valentine nobody called you again you see all those kinds of listen listen to me when those things happen it's amazing your bp begins to rise you know why you are thinking nonsense that is not the mind of christ and yet you can be completely at peace 
Where will my school fees come from? Where will my rent come from? Listen, worry does not solve today's problem. Worry kills today's peace. It kills today's opportunities. It destroys tomorrow's door. So that you cannot even make progress in your life. Jesus took a whole chapter to talk about worry. Listen, this is a very powerful message. Learn peace now. Don't wait till they pay you salary. If your peace depends on your external environment, Satan has mastered you. It means you are about to die fast. Only comes alive every time I hear your voice. Not every time I receive an alert. Not every time I receive an award. Not every time I feel I am making progress. The voice of God is my peace. Ah. A state of restfulness not irresponsibility restfulness Lord you are in control why will you be awake and I'll be awake too one of us should sleep you have chosen that you do not sleep nor slumber so let me find sleep many people don't sleep because of all kinds of depression what is happening to my father what is happening to my mother and Satan just adjusts. hey do you know they just said that um the land that your house was built upon there's supposed to be a road there and they're going ha what will I do and you see people no. say my soul find rest one more time prophesy say my soul find rest They are, they are shockingly peaceful. Because many times, when there is noise in your life, the voice of God is not there. There can be an earthquake and he's not in it. There can be all kinds of winds. And when all that nonsense is gone, then here he comes. The still small voice. Are we together? Do you know that every time we are troubled, we should change the power of God from coming to our lives. It is only when you are at rest. Even doctors will tell you when they want to carry out surgical operations on patients and they find out that their BP is vacillating, they will have to say, look, find a way of stabilizing these people emotionally. Is that true? They gather their family members to crack jokes. They find something that makes them happy. It's been proven that when family members are gathered around sick patients or things they like it can aid their recovery i was watching i think it was the day before yesterday or so on the news when they were showing people in china dancing to ease the whole the coronavirus and people were just dancing and it's, if it makes them happy why not listen beware of prolonged depression gloominess when when the peace of god does not find expression in your life death is being ministered to you you are dying already it's not when you are sick and cannot move are we blessed peace second thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16 now the lord of peace himself give you peace how long by all means you know what by all means means whatever it, it will take god to shake to ensure that you remain out. the lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the lord be with you all the lord will give you peace by all means that is it is based on his desire to give you peace that he prospers you if he notices that the the peace is being interrupted because of poverty he will switch and attack poverty and take it personal not because he's really interested in money the goal is that you find peace please understand this when god lifts you when god blesses you when god wipes your tears this is what he wants to give you and he said by all means this is why he keeps pumping mysteries upon mysteries he's giving you all the keys it is his by all means agenda to make sure that whatever it will take you do not remain small the lord of peace himself 
will give you peace always by all means. Are we blessed? So your relationship with God, this is the first most important priority in your life. Please look up. Believers, hear me. It matters that you make up your mind now that nothing will ever make me live God in this life. You would think what I'm saying is very simple and very easy. No. Make up your mind. What shall separate us, the Bible says, from the love of God? Then it begins to list many things. For many people, they've not even seen one tenth of those things. And yet they are there. They say, God, I will wave you and will reconsider it when you are, in, when you are serious with me. People have left God because of marriage. People have left God because of money. People have left God because of education. People have left God because of all of those things. That you get to a point where you say, Lord, the issue of leaving you is like an initiation. I'm there and there for good. Make up your mind that I'm stuck with you and I'm stuck with you genuinely. I'm not using you. I am here to stay and I'm here to stay eternally now listen your relationship with god is worth fighting for your relationship with god is worth dying for your relationship with god is the highest the noblest pursuit on earth fail in every other area of your life and ensure that you are rich towards god you still want did you hear what i said yes sir there were two men hanging on the tree they were thieves and one of them was arguing and talking a lot of nonsense towards Jesus and the other one you know began to call on his mercy and he said this day you will be with me in paradise straight up because he made a decision to be connected to God many people would rather be connected to politicians than God rather be connected to this now men are important but God first in the beginning it must remain so in the beginning not later in the equation God in the beginning God God is not an option when all else fail you say God talk since there's nowhere to go let me just no, no, no. in the beginning and from the beginning let it be God from beginning to the end it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I just wanted to sing that point. From beginning to the end, Alpha Omega. God, forever. I'm with you for the long run. I'm not with you for 10 years. I'm not. Have you seen people that you meet and you say, I used to know you. And they'll tell you, well, those days, FCS or SU or something. Say, now, nah, the reality of life has made us to go. Where did you go to? Jesus looked at the disciples and said, will you also go? He said, to whom shall we go? No matter what happens in your life, please always make sure that you are on God's side. Guarantee that you are saved. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.